जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जन वल्लभा गिरीवर दारी यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजना यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजना जमुन तीरावन चारी जमुना तीरावन चारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जन वल्लभा गिरीवरदारी जय गोपी जन वल्लभा गिरीवरदारी यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजना यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजना यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजना यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजना जमुन तीरावन चारी जमुन तीरावन चारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय ओम विष्णुपाद परम हंस परिवि काचार्य स्त्रोत्र स्त्रोत्र सतस्युषि ऐसी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्रील प्रभुपाद की इसकॉन फाउंडर आचार्य श्रील प्रभुपाद की जय ओम विष्णुपाद परम हंस परिवि काचार्य स्त्रोत्र स्त्रोत्र सतस्युषि भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी महाराज श्रील प्रभुपाद की अनंत कोटि वैष्णव बंद की नामाचार्य श्रील हरिदास ठाकुर के प्रेम से कहो जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवास दि गौर भक्त बंद की ऑल ग्लोरी टू असम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी टू असम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी टू असम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी ऑल ग्लोरी ऑल ग्लोरी टू श्री गुरु एंड गौरंगा 
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायणम नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जाएं बुधीरहे नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेशु नित्यं भागवत सेवया भगवते उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवति नैस्ति की कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंद गोप कुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम हरे कृष्ण Today we are taking Shrimad Bhagavatam Sloka, Canto One, Chapter Eleven, Slok Number Nine. Yarham bujaksha pasasara bo bhavan, kurun madun vata suradhi dakshaya. तत्रकोटी प्रतिमा क्षण रवि विना क्षोरिवानस्तवाच्युता यर्हुंबुजाक्षापसार भो भवान् कुरोन्मदोन्वात सुहृदेदक्षया तत्राब्दिकोटि प्रतिमाक्षणो बवे रविं विनाक्षोरिवानस्तवाच्युता यर्हम बुजाक्षा पससार बोबवन कुरुन मधुनवात सुहृदी दक्षयां दक्षयां तत्राब्दि कोटि प्रतिमाक्षणो बवे रविं विनाक्षोरिवानस्तवाच्युता जिन्द्रबुक्षास प्रतिमाक्षणो बवे रवि विनाक्षोरी नष्टवच्छुता अर्थुंब जाक्षा पससार बोबवा कुरुन वधोन वासुरति दक्षया
ಚಿಕೋಟಿ ಪ್ರತಿಮಾ ಕ್ಷಣೋ ಭವೇತ್ ರವಿ ವಿಲೋಕ್ಷೋರಿ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಕುಂಭಜಾಕ್ಷಸಕಾರ ಭೋ ಭವ ಸುಂದತುರ್ವಾತಸುರದ್ರಕ್ಷಯ ಕೋಟಿ ಪ್ರತಿಕ್ಷಣೋ ಭವೇ ರವಿ ವಿಲಕ್ಷೋರಿ ನಸ್ತವ್ಯುತ ಯರಿ ವೆನೆವರ್ ಅಂಬುಜ ಅಂಬುಜ ಅಕ್ಷ ಓ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಐಡ್ ಒನ್ ಅಪ್ಸ ಅಪ್ಸ ಯು ಗೋ ಎವೇ ಬೋಹೋ ಬಾವನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕುರುನ್ ದ ಡಿಸೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಕುರು ಮಾದನ್ ದ ಇನ್ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಥುರಾ ವಜಭೂಮಿ ವಾ ಈದರ್ ಅಥ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸುರತ್ ದಿದ್ರಕ್ಷ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ತತ್ರ ಎಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಬ್ಧ ಕೋಟಿ ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರತಿಮಹ ಲೈಕ್ ಕ್ಷಣ ಮುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಭಾವೇತ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ರವೀಂ ದ ಸನ್ ವಿನ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಅಕ್ಷಣ ಆಫ್ ದ ಐಸ್ ಇವ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ನಹ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ತವ ಯುವರ್ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಓ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಲಿಯಬಲ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಪರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಓ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಲಾಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಎ ವೇ ಟು ಮಥುರಾ ವೃಂದಾವನ್ ಆರ್ ಹಸ್ತಿನಾಪುರ್ to meet your friends and relatives every moment of your absence seems to like a millions of years o oh, infallible one at that time our eyes become useless as if bereft of sun please repeat o oh, lotus eyed lord whenever you go away to mathura vrindavan or hastinapur to meet your friends and relatives every moment of your absence seems like a millions years o oh, infallible one at that time our eyes become useless as if bereft of sun for port we are all proud of our material senses for making experiments to determine the existence of god but we forget that our senses are not <coughs> absolute by themselves they are only act under certain conditions for example our eyes as long as sunshine is there our eyes are useful to certain extent but in the absence of sunshine the eyes are useless lord shri krishna being a primal lord the supreme truth is compared to the sun without him all our knowledge is either false or partial the opposite of the sun is the darkness and similarly the opposite of krishna is maya or illusion the devotees of the lord can see everything in true perspective due to the light disseminated by lord krishna by the grace of the lord the pure devotee cannot be in the darkness of ignorance therefore it is necessary that we must always be in the sight of lord krishna so that we can see both ourselves and lord 
with its different energies. As we cannot see anything in the absence of the sun, so also we cannot see anything, including our own self, without the factual presence of the Lord. Without Him, all our knowledge is covered by illusion. <coughs> Om Ajnanati Mirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshur Militamena Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Uta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamcha Shri Rupam Sagrajata Sahagana Ragunatan Vitam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamsha E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpataru Vescha Kripa Sindhu Evacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna First of all, <clears throat> I seek the blessing from all of you. And the, this subject is, the Lord Krishna enters into Dwarka. Wonderful subject. So, <clears throat> here the Dwarka was is, they say that when you leave for Mathura, Vrindavan, Hastinapur, to meet your friends and relatives, Every moment of your absence seems like millions of years. Wonderful subject, they are feeling the separation, very wonderfully given. Oh, infallible one. And that time our eyes become useless as if bereft of sun. We are in total darkness. So, the presence of Lord, how they feel the happiness that we can understand in that, how much they are feeling in the Lord's absence. So now, actually, Krishna, after completing most of his job, whatever the job needed, and uh, it was Kurukshetra, war was over, and he has coronated uh, Yudhishthir Maharaj. But Yudhishthir Maharaj was very unhappy because all these 
sinful activities, all these calamities, all these people, so many have died. I'm the cause for it. So he was feeling so bad. So Krishna, Lord Krishna used to convince him. Then what he does, because Bhishma Pitama was there in arrows of bed at Kurukshetra only, because he was waiting for the right time, waiting for Uttarayana. So what Krishna does? Let all Pandavas you get ready. You should be in Rajavesh. You should full, full uniform you have to put as kings. They put that. So Krishna takes all of them to uh, Bhishma Pitama. So by seeing them, Bhishma Pitama was so happy. He was suffering from his lots of pain, but seeing Pandavas, Bhishma Pitama was very happy, very, very happy. He was saying, I was, I, was, I was waiting for this thing to see you in this shape, in this dress, in this position. But I don't know, you all suffered very much. I'm very sorry. But I, I could understand now what is, the, what is the real problem. He says, and I could understand. You know what he understood, he says? The, this is due to the inevitable time. And inevitable time is controlled by Krishna. This is the will of the Lord. He was saying that very nicely. Huh? It's all, it is controlled by Krishna. Even the most pious persons, as per his karma, he has to suffer. Vaishnava expects problems. The Vaishnava knows this. As Bhagavad Gita it is said, this Dukkalayam and Asashvatam. Vaishnavas knows this is the problem, there will be misery at every moment here. But he is, he is, Vaishnava is taking shelter of Krishna every moment. So taking shelter of Krishna in a mood of, even it is told by Bhishma Pitama, it is, the gopis are so much loud. Every time they are taking the mood of gopis, even Bhishma was reminding that taking gopis love was highest in the mood of gopis it is the highest ecstasy when you take the uh, shelter of krishna in the mood of gopis you see quite ecstasy ananda ananda and paramananda very much and by that for that lord chaitanya mahaprabhu gave that how to associate with krishna properly that is Mahamantra, chanting the holy name. We'll get the same Ananda and Paramananda. It is suffering unavoidable, anyway, everyone, unavoidable death, unavoidable uh, uh, suffering, it is there, it is always there. We express this great, with grateful heart. We have to expect this in grateful heart. We have to welcome this because it will be there. Only by praying Krishna, it can be done. By chanting the holy name, Krishna is equal to everyone. That is number one. He is equal to everyone. Even he is a protector of everyone. He is a well-wisher of everyone. And he is a friend of everyone. That's why in Kurukshetra war, whoever have lost their life, they all got liberated because they could have darshan of Krishna. This is so, so wonderful Krishna's position. Especially in this Bhagavatam, this part, even uh, Bhishma Pitam and Lord Krishna's, uh, you know, their uh, loving service is very spiritual exchange it is. Wonderful it is. Uh, even remaining in the opposite party, Bhishma showed his love for Krishna. That was wonderful. Uh, even the arrows which used to come from Bhishma, those Krishna used to feel that it is like a lotus fetal. That was the thing. So, there was so much loving exchange. So <clears throat> Bhishma praises, especially gopis. He is praising Krishna because he could see that Krishna's uh, loving face. 
he wanted to have darshan. That's why Krishna came to this uh, bed of uh, this Kurukshetra just to give the darshan. And not only that, Yudhishthira could get the principle of dharma from Bhishma. He could get the advice. And after that, seeing Krishna, the uh, Bhishma, he leaves the body. He said that even same way, uh, uh, our uh, Namacharya Haridas Thakur also left that by seeing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he left the body. So this is a wonderful pastime. Now also before that, there was a Rajasuya Yajna that was prepared for the pleasure of Krishna. And actually, Yudhish, Krishna wanted to give this, it should be prepared for the pleasure of Yudhishthir. But Yudhishthir wanted it should be prepared, performed for the pleasure of Krishna. This is that, you know, uh, uh, loving exchange. That's the same way Brahma declares that Ishvara, Paramakrishna, Satchidananda, Vigraha, Anadiradir Govinda, Sarva Karana Karana. He is the origin. Krishna is the origin. One who knows that, they will take full shelter of Krishna. Uh, that's why uh, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Aham Bija Pradapita. He is loving each and everyone. Everyone is a, he is the seed giving father of every living entity. Everything. So, so these are the transcendental pastimes. And here, even particular time Krishna shows feeling, you know. When Hastinapur, when he was leaving, he was saying, no, no, let me, let me be with them. Even Queen Kunti asked to stay. Even Yudhishthira Maharaj wanted Krishna should be there. So he was tolerating and lovingly he, he was staying. And even Hastinapur devotees, they were also feeling separation. It is like many yugas if they don't see Krishna. And gopis, especially gopis are blaming Brahma that you know. You are created very defectively because you gave the eyelash. By You have to close that eyelash just to see Krishna blinking. This is also your defective creation because that time also we could not tolerate. We wanted to see Krishna. It will be like many yugas. Once we blink and open it. See the conscious of uh, uh, gopis, you can see. And uh, <coughs> even citizens of Dwaraka, they were very happily waiting for Krishna. And when their arrival, and citizens are very wonderfully celebrating Krishna's arrival, glorifying Krishna. And they say, we are... Even when you are leaving from here, after that, even those moments is like millions of years. This, this is not any you know, speculating thing. They feel it normally, how important it is. So that's why Prabhupada gives in his, uh, 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 this purport, we are all proud of our material senses for making experiments to determination of existence of God. In our material senses, we try to see, try to do so many experiments. But we forget our senses are not absolute by themselves. Hmm? They can only act under the certain condition. Condition is that, suppose you have, you got your eye, but there is no light, there is no sunlight, you can't see anything. So we are all dependent on the, uh, uh, our senses. As long as sunshine is there, our eyes are useful for certain extent. But in the absence of sunshine, eyes are useless. This is very difficult to understand. You know, when, when we uh, go through all this scriptural uh, evidence, then only we understand it. There is no use at all, after all. Hmm? And uh, especially, I will tell you the, how much important the darshan is. The Lord Sri Krishna is the primal Lord, the supreme truth of compared to the sun. Without him, all our knowledge is either false or partial. 
If Krishna is not there, whoever he may be, big scholars, scientists, great knowledgeable people, if Krishna is not there in center, it is mostly it is false and also little partial, little part of it. The opposite of sun is darkness. Similarly, opposite of Krishna is Maya or illusion. Uh, devotees of Lord can see everything in their perspective due to light disseminated by Sri Krishna. Only by light is disseminated by Sri Krishna, then only they can see. Otherwise, not. That also pure devotee. But one more thing is that by the grace of Lord, the pure devotees can't be in the darkness of ignorance. Once they take the shelter of Krishna, pure devotees, they will never be, can't be in the darkness of ignorance. Their ignorance will be banished. Now, it is necessary that we must always in the sight of the Lord Krishna. This is what very, very necessary, even as per this sloka also. So that we can see both ourself and Lord within his different energies. Lord as well as, well as ourself. We can see this way. Especially, you know, I wanted to give one example that uh, <clears throat> that was in Jagannath Puri, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. At the time of Netrosa, other days he just stands near the Garuda stump. But Netrosa's time he goes very closer and he takes darshan of Krishna, Jagannath. There's only morning to up to the evening, night, he takes the darshan. That way you can understand how deeply lords just absorb the thing. How deeply you absorb the thing. This is the method Lord, Lord is teaching us. What is the method you have to adopt? Uh, uh, and uh, same way, without the factual presence of the Lord, all our knowledge covered by illusion. If all our knowledge is covered by illusion. If presence is not there, that's why in Shikshatakam also it is given. Yuga yutin, yuga yit nimishena, chakshu sa pravishayitam, shunyayitam jagat sarvam govinda virahenam. That we are here daily reading us. You know what is that? Oh Govinda, feeling your separation, I am considering a moment to be 12 years or more. Tears are flowing from my eyes like torrents of rain. I am fully of vacant, feeling of vacant in the world of your absence. This is the conscious action. One moment means more than 12 years. Huh? So, so ex exactly the thing, you know, the, the, it is, we have to go very deep on this. Even seeing, absorption, we have to be very deep. Huh? Even uh, uh, the, the uh, people of uh, uh, Dwarka, Dwakavasi says, we have filled millions of years absence. So same way here, the, the uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, the 12 years, a moment means, you, we have to feel that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I wanted to give you an example, in, uh, especially in Tirupati, the, the Abhishekam was there. I think you, some darshan is there of Abhishek. It's around one, one and a half hour you can sit. That is only a, a service, seva, you can sit in front of the Lord <laughs> in Abhishekam. It's very difficult to get now. It's about 30, 40 years. You, once you book it, it's very difficult to get. So in Abhishekam, you will all will sit, you know, inside. Early morning, about 3 o'clock. So AC is on, everybody has to sit. The people who are some delegates, some uh, uh, ministry level, they get passed in the front. And others will sit behind. People like us taking chanting mala and sitting and chanting. But to see the darshan of Venkateshwara, the people are just, you know, lifting their neck earlier initially. Behind people it is difficult to get. You know, after some time, automatically, you know, they are all starting dozing. <laughs> and everybody is dozing. So that a person who is aware of it, chanting, we can get a, get a good darshan. So, what I wanted to say, it requires the highest Shuddha Tattva. Mode of goodness. Otherwise, you can't stay more time in front of the Lord. Bas, enough. Huh? 
So this is one example I wanted to give you. Second thing is that especially Jagannath. Jagannath temple, now they don't allow us to touch the deities. But earlier, uh, our Marcia for Ramkumar Panda used to allow, you know, sit here. You can do some massage and sit on the chariot. But, you know, after one hour, half an hour, two hours, you get bored. Bas, enough. We will, we will live. <laughs> because we are not on that Shuddha Tattva. It will be a burden for us to stay there. Because the purity is not there. We have to have that such a wonderful Shuddha Tattva. Then you can tolerate that. This is only our life, you know. This is that. Huh? So, so uh, <laughs> the... And one more thing is that the best darshan, I, I normally used to speak this. What is the best darshan actually? After seeing the Lord, the Prabhupada says, best darshan is, there should not be any material desire. No material desire. If your material desire increases, your darshan is not that up to the mark. Best darshan. It's a most, and uh, especially <clears throat> here, even in this, uh, uh, it is said the, uh, we have to keep Krishna in center all the time because of our, our senses. This is the sloka. Sarvopadi vinir muktam tatparatvena nirmalam. Rishikena Rishikesha Sevanam Bhakti Ruchar. You have to remove all your upadis. I am so and so, I am a big manager, I am a big uh, you know, scholar, I am a big dog, big, great devotee, all those things. This doesn't work there. <laughs> so, Sarva Upadi Vinir Muktam. You have to clear up everything. And Rishikena Rishikesha Sevanam. Rishike means senses. And Rishikesha is the master of the sense. These all senses to be used to service of master of senses. Then everything is perfect. No, otherwise, no, it is very clearly given. Uh, so the, the thing is that uh, the, the Dharma, you have to say the Dharma, Dharma means you have to be obedient to the uh, instruction of the Lord. Dharma tu sakshat Bhagavad Pranita. And this should be very deeper, much deeper. We have to go more and more, more and more, much deeper. So that will be the thing we can find out. Actually, uh, the uh, principle which is given, huh, it is all over that Vaishnava principle. See, actually last time we had uh, visited when I had gone to uh, Udipi, to Sode actually. That is the uh, Sode Mat. So, there I, I could understand the three principles they were following, actually, sannyasis. The same principle, Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. One thing, especially this uh, Vishvesha Tirtha Swamiji, he, he is no more now. He, he was so pure, so perfect. I, I, I used to see him in my school life, college life, after, afterwards also, recently. So, the three things he was following as a sannyasi. Number one, waking up at Brahma Murta. His instruction is given by his spiritual master, Brahma Murta, every day. And he does his sadhana, japa, tapa, everything in Brahma Murta. Number two, he looks every, he sees everyone who meets him in Karuna Drishti. Hmm? How, how we say, na, uh, very compassionate, the karuna. This he, he maintained even up to the last. The third thing is, whatever the deities have been given to him by Lord Madhvacharya, uh, Sripad Madhvacharya, he used to keep it in front of him. Even at the sleeping time also, he is aware of that. Lord is there. That presence, to, uh, uh, what I say, uh, just to prove that the presence, to understand that presence, he used to do even up to the last. The Lord is there and you will sleep on the same place. This is what I said for you, just to understand the presence of the Lord, that by presence of the Lord, you will be always with deeply absorbed. Presence of the Lord is needed. Presence of the Lord, presence of uh, devotees. Devotees association. That will do lots of effect. 
Now, uh, I, I, actually, I wanted to <coughs> take one of the kirtan of, uh, uh, you must have heard it, what is the, what is the real glory of, the, of our components, our uh, body's parts, you know? What is it? It was given by uh, Purandara Dasa type of Dasas they have given. That I want to say, the glory is called in Kannada Bhushana. Bhushana. It's nicely Alankar Karte Vesa. So what is the right Bhushana? So you also, it is easy, you can hear it. <laughs> I wanted to say that. Bhushana ke Bhushana, idu Bhushana. Bhushana ke Bhushana, idu Bhushana. Shesha Girivasa, Srivara Venkatesha. Bhushana ke Bhushana, idu Bhushana. Nalige ke Bhushana, Narayana Nama. Now you, I'll tell you. Nalige ke Bhushana, for the tongue, what is the glory? Narayana Nama. Nalige ke Bhushana. Narayana na nama, Kali ke bhushana, Hariyatrayu. Kali you know, na? for the legs, what is the bhushana? What is the glory? Hariyatra. Going for the Hariyatra. Alaya ke bhushana, Tulasi vrindavana. Alaya ke bhushana, Tulasi vrindavana. I think you can understand. Alaya means temple. For that, bhushana glories. Tulasi. Vishala karna ke bhushana. Vishala karna ke bhushana. Krishna kateyu. Vishala karna. Karna means you are here. For that, bhushana is Krishna kata, Vishnu kata. Bhushana. Bhushana ke bhushana, idu bhushana. Ranga nanu kaanu du kangali ke bhushana. Ranga, Krishna ko, to see Krishna, kangal. For the eyes it is a bhushana, bhushana for the eyes. Seeing Krishna. That's why all, they were waiting, because that is bhushana, that is their glory. When you miss it, it will be many, many millions of years. Ranga nanu nodu du kangali ke bhushana. Mangalanga ke maniva shirabhushana. Mangalanga. For Lord, we are going and giving dandavat. This shira mustache should touch the floor. This is bhushana for the shira. Shringara tulasi mani korali ke bhushana. Shringar tulasi mani. That is bhushana for your neck. What we are wearing it. That is bhushana. That is a glory. And then. Ranga Vitala Ninna Namave Bhushana. Ranga Vitala, your name itself is Bhushana. That's his glory. So Hari Nama, that is glory for everything. So that's why I wanted to give today what is Bhushana, what is glory. So our glory is chanting the holy name. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave us Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Actually, by that, you can see the Lord. You can see the Lord. Even all your, you know, uh, breathing, you can feel. Usuru, usuru ye kusumana abhane so. Swaso chwas me ana chaye kusumana abhane so. So the practice of chanting, it will come, automatically it will come. Then you can see Lord very deeply. Krishna consciousness is very deep. So here, when we, we, we read about uh, the uh, Dwarka Vasi, they are feeling it's like many millions of years. Huh? So that, that depth comes by their Shuddha Sattva, pure devotional service. If you entangled with lot of material thing, this particular conscious is very difficult to come. So Krishna conscious is pure. Krishna conscious principle is so pure and we have to take it very, very seriously and then we can attain that. So whatever Srila Prabhupada has given, 
absorption especially. He used to do it, he used to struggle and he used to make so many books and Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, also Chaitanya Charitamratam, so many other books. So absorption of Prabhupada was wonderful. I Even earlier also I gave the example, Prabhupada was so much uh, showing his ex- uh, absorption, how to give this uh, literature for all of us. And, and mo- most of the important thing Prabhupada used to say, sense gratification means you will be in miserable condition. This was Prabhupada totally emphasized, uplifted. In any of the other cult, if you go, there's a sense of gratification, yes, good, enjoy. But Prabhupada said, no, you will be in miserable condition. You have come, not come for sense gratification, you have come for self-realization. Do that, don't miss this. So Prabhupada used to emphasize that. One more thing is, Prabhupada used to write that even in the night, old age, it was one, uh, this, especially this Jagat Purush, he used to say, wrote one of the plays, that he used to see what Prabhupada is doing it in the night, his room, light is open, it was in Juhu. So he went and started watching Prabhupada, what he is doing. Prabhupada, about 11 o'clock, the thing started, light, Prabhupada started with dictaphone translating. 11, 12, this person is waiting. And Prabhupada is just going on. And 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, this person is on sleepy mood. But still he waited, let Prabhupada what he is doing. Prabhupada was there up to 4 o'clock, 4.30, and 5 o'clock he completed. He put his shawl and walking stick and started for walking. And after walking, he came back and entered this temple and took the Bhagavatam class. I am telling you, see the absorption for gaining anything. When we see this, then we understand what standard we have to be serious in spiritual life, Krishna conscious. See, that's the example. By these examples, we can understand that. So, of course, you all know about it. But the thing is that knowing and practically doing has got lots of difference. So, we'll try to pray with the Radha Gopinath and all the Vaishnavas that we should follow it deeply. Ananta way, there's unlimited way if you do it. Krishna will give us wonderful uh, energy and same Lord will make us, as I told you, He is, he is, he is uh, equal to everyone, He is protector of everyone, He is a well-wisher of everyone and He is friend of everyone. So this is the way you can deeply take it. So Krishna conscious, for every problem there is one Divya Aushari, always we have to remember, chanting the holy name, it will solve all the problem and it will make us comfortable in our devotional service and, and full mercy we can carry with us. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.